Shalom and praise the name of the living God. Let there be light in your life. Your life will never be the same again. Kwa wala wagonjwa mungu wa kuponye. Wasio na kazi mungu wa kupe kazi. Mungu ainua huduma yako na biashara yako na kazi ya mikono yako Mungu aibarikie. God bless you so much. Shalom Kenyans. Confidently I can say and talk about the outcome of August election. Nimesikia kuna watu manabii wanasema kutakuwa worse than ever listen to me you prophets or pastors stop misleading people of Kenya don't say something against the peace of Kenyans Hakuna kitu kama kumwagika damu ama umwagikaji wa damu ambaye hajawahi kutokea hii dunia. So, wacha kutishia wa Kenya. Kama umeoneshwa damu itamwagika Kenya, bas pray for Kenya and also pray for Kenyans, pray for the, these leaders. Don't uh, don't say that uh, uh, tutakufa, hatutakufa, tutaishi tutangaza wema wa Mungu katika maisha yetu in Jesus mighty name whoever ambaye ananisikia and wherever you are auta uawa wala kuuliwa tena auta kufa mapema usikufe mapema tukae kae tukae tukule bonus in the name of Jesus no bloodshed in Kenya natangaza na natangaza kwa jina la Yesu sema amen kwa comment no 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 bloodshed in Kenya never so you prophets acha kutishia wa Kenya if you want people to pray just tell them to pray but don't just tell us ati kutakuwa na umwagikaji wa damu as never before in which kenya do you think god is not with kenyans ha? sasa hivi mungu ameshikilia kenya namna hii hivi you see now kuna simba wawili wana wa, wanapigana and let me tell you kenyans the outcome of these elections number 2 atakuwa ameachwa na kura nyingi sana for your information <laughs> you don't believe but wait for that date ongojea date 15 this august number 2 atakuwa ameachwa na kura nyingi sana Yaani kwa atakuwa ameachwa kilomita mbali mingi sana. Na atasema ameibiwa. Within four days nilisema hiyo kesi haitakuwa hata imefika kwa milango ya mahakama. Kwa sababu sasa hivi Mungu amemlika mahakama na IBC. Hakuna ukora. So Kenyans wawe na amani wapige kura na amani ule mtu roa Mungu alikusaidia uchague chagua kwa amani ule ulimuona akiwa president wa Kenya mpigie kura kwa wingi na ule ulisikia kinywa cha Mungu ikisema ndio president mpigie kura kwa wingi bila kuogopa na bila kuhama muache kuhama msihame nimetumwa nikwambie usihame ka stay where, wherever you are kama uko Kisumu ka Kisumu kama uko 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 Rift Valley ka Rift Valley kama uko Mount Kenya 
na wewe sio mjaluo wewe sio mkikuyu wewe ni mjaluo wewe ni mkisi wewe ni muluya wewe kaa huko saa hizi hakuna ile tribalism uh, uh, vita hiyo no 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 hii uchaguzi sasa hivi inaongozwa na Mungu mwenyewe Mungu mwenyewe na Mungu ata make distance between these two people kwa kura look at here between these two people kwa kura Mungu ataweka distance kubwa sana kwa kura because mmoja hana kura distance na hiyo itasababisha amani peace in Kenya na atakuwa anaitwa baba wa siasa na mshauri kwa sababu sasa hivi haezani na mambo mengi kunguruka kara hata mliona juzi yesterday ama ni, ni, ni lini mliona uh, alikataa kuja debate awezani ni hiyo makukuruka kara na atakubali kushindwa so hiyo italeta amani itasababisha amani iingie katika taifa la Kenya Niwaambie tu wa Kenya muwe na amani sana. Tena amani kubwa. Amani kubwa watumishi wale mmefungua kanisa kule Kenya huko. Msirudi manyumbani, hakutakuwa na vita. Vita ile itakuwa ni kidogo sana na askari wataweza kutuliza kwa haraka sana kwa sababu askari wanafata sheria. Hawafati mambo ya deep state sijui na, na nini na system. Hiyo kitu ilikufa kitambo sana. Wakati BBI ilikufa, Deep State ilienda nayo ndani ya hiyo jeneza na system. Sasa ni mchana kumekucha katika taifa la Kenya. So, let there be peace in Kenya. Let us pray for Kenya. Nchi ambayo Mungu ametupatia na viongozi ambayo Mungu ametupatia. Hao viongozi wote ni wazuri. Matusi ni ya siasa tu. Lakini ukweli wao wanakula hata pamoja. These are friends. Matusi ni kwa sababu ya kugawanya kura, watu wachukie huyu, wachukie huyu. These are leaders. So uh, uh, so called prophets. Uh, I don't know. Mi sita wa, wa hukumu. Maybe wameitwa na Mungu kivyao. I don't know, but kila ambacho I'm proving them wrong is that Kenya akuta kuwa na umwagikaji wa damu hiyo to may cancel in Jesus mighty name weka amen hapo kwa comment don't worry don't worry madhabahu ya Mungu mimbari ya Mungu wa Israeli na watu wanaiombea Kenya kwa dini zao kwa imani tofauti wanaomba katika nchi hii eh hmm? This election haijawahi kuwepo ni kitu imeongojewa sana. Na kile ambacho ilikuwa inaaminika kwamba haitafanyika, itafanyika. Lakini sio vita, sio umwagikaji wa damu. No. So, God bless Kenya. The outcome of election in August itasababisha peace in this nation as never before na hao watu utawaona tu watakuwa pamoja watakuwa pamoja though hakutakuwa na handshake but watakuwa pamoja watakuwa wana recognize each other each other huyu tu wa mandevu nyingi huyu wa bangi bangi huyu ndo atapotea eh? kwa government atakuwa na na nafasi yoyote kwa sababu ya mambo ya aibu yake ya ya, ya bangi na mambo ya fisi sijui na, na na nyoka na sumu ya nyoka Mungu aliua nyoka kitambo BBI is dead <coughs> na aitawai rudi 
kwa sababu kuna mambo BBI ilizuia na imefanya wa Kenya wateseke na imerudisha nchi nyuma na imechelewesha revival They said no no one can stop reggae but not that no one can stop god and no one can fight against him fighting against god is a losing battle a losing battle so god bless our leaders god bless kenya wa kenya muwe na amani kabisa msihame kwa sababu ya ati mmesikia manabii wa wamesema kutakuwa na violence uh, Uh, no never never akutakuwa na kitu kama hicho kwa kunifikia kwa maombi na maombezi wewe ambao unateseka na magonjwa usiku unalala unanyongwa unaota ndoto mbaya za manyoka unaota manyoka na nini mm na wewe ambao upati mtoto next year nataka unyonyeshe. Umeshindwa kupata mtoto kabisa na umepimwa ukaambiwa una shida. Hata kama umepimwa ukaambiwa uko na shida. Let us pray. Nipigie hiyo namba tuombe. Ni kupe watoto kwa jina la Yesu. Watoto wako ni wengi. Unyonyeshe mwakani tarehe kama hizi. In the name of Jesus. Kama ulizaliwa na wewe lazima uzae. The devil is a liar. Just call me we pray. Upate kunyonyesha upate watoto. Umekaa kwa ndoa amna watoto. Ama umezaa mtoto lakini wengine wamechelewa kuna unataka just just call this number. This number you see on your screen right now. Just call this number. Call these numbers itanifikia. Hii namba pia ndiyo ya sadaka yako ku support ministry. Asante kwa sababu ya wale mnani support na wapenda kwa jina la Yesu na waombea. Kwa wale mnaandika text jaribu ku, ukiona text yako haijajibiwa kwa WhatsApp ama kwa text uh, please try again. Text me again and I will reply. I will reply. Hauna watoto au hauna uwezo kupata watoto ama ndoa. Ama matatizo mengine mengi. Ama hiyo kansa. Kufura miguu diabetes. Alsa sambe imetibiwa for long na ishi. Just call me we pray. Hii namba itanifikia itanifikia. Wale mnauliza namba ya Mpesa, namba hiyo pia ni ya Mpesa vile vile. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. Kenya kutakuwa na amani. Kutakuwa na amani after election, kutakuwa na amani. Eh, kisirani kisirani kasheshe kasheshe tu kidogo hapa na pale, lakini hiyo itaweza kutulizwa kwa haraka. So Nipigie simu karibu. Thank you for watching. Make sure, make sure you are subscribing. Uh, share with your friends. Ujumbe huu. And uh, I would like to see your comments. Na utabarikiwa sana. Utabarikiwa sana. Mungu wa kubariki, mungu wa kulinde, akuifadhi. Let there be light in your life in Jesus name. Amen. Shalom. Tutashinda.